crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I have a set of four fall cards featuring some products from Sunny Studio, Lawn Fawn, and Cat Scrappiness. I was inspired by the Cat Scrappiness October Challenge, which is to create fall cards. It's the perfect time of year to create fall cards and so, I don't know, I was just excited for that, but... The stamp set that I had most recently bought from Cat Scrappiness was the Sunny Studio Alpaca Holiday stamp set. And uh, so, you know, it's like meant for Christmas, but it also worked out really well for fall. So that made me excited that I got to use my new Christmas stamps, even though it wasn't for a Christmas card. I also got the Knit Picky Lawn Fawn 6x6 paper pad. So I had a lot of fun goodies that I was ready to play with. I got started by stamping four of the alpacas that looked most like fall alpacas. There's one more that had a little hat on. And of course I wear hats, like they're like little beanies or whatever. I wear those in the fall too. But anyway, I just picked the, my four favorite alpacas. And then I cut out the leaf panel thing from the Cat Scrappiness Crafters Essentials fall die set. So. I could change out the leaves with the background. So when I went to the Lawn Fawn paper pad, I just picked four pieces of paper that I thought went well together. And I also used those Lawn Fawn paper colors to help me pick out my Copic marker colors by just putting the paper on the hex chart and just kind of seeing what colors resembled the Lawn Fawn paper. And this is going to allow me to create four cards in just a little bit longer than it would take me to create one because I'm going to use the same markers throughout. I'm not going to have to pick new colors or as if I, you know, if I sat down every time to make a new card, I think it would take just so much longer. Um, and I get to do all of the work of making one card and come out with four so that I have a stash to send off to friends or to donate or whatever I want to do with them. Okay, so I picked BG49 for my blue. And I'm going to open that marker and then go all across the llamas, adding a little bit of blue to each llama. Similar thing with the RV17, which is the pink that I picked to coordinate with the lawn fawn paper. I'm not going to put on every single llama because there was two llamas that could only handle two colors. Like there's only two things to color on them. And so I didn't want them all to match. Like I almost put on that last scarf and I was like, well, does anyone have any yellow? Maybe the smart thing though would have been to color it a three color pattern, like to do pink, blue, yellow, pink, blue, yellow on that scarf, because there's a lot to it. And it would have allowed me to incorporate another color, but in the end it all worked out. When I'm thinking about where to put the colors, I am just kind of thinking about like, not this, the same two colors shouldn't touch each other, which isn't too hard to do in these designs. And then I also decided to just color all of these little details solid, and that was Y38. So even though I probably could have added some shading to like the blanket or the hat because they're a bit bigger versus the scars, which are teeny tiny, I just thought it, you know, making some simpler cards and it probably wasn't worth the time and effort. Now, if I was coloring a bigger piece or if my coloring was really like the star of the whole card, you know, then maybe I would have taken some more time and added those, you know, like three color blends or whatever in the teeny tiny scarf. To color the llama, I'm using Y53 and 50. The first llama, I covered the whole thing in 50 and then I took the 53 and I'm adding swirls all over it to give it that sort of fluffy, curly texture that an alpaca has. And I know I keep, I probably keep saying llama and then alpaca and back and forth. They're supposed to be alpacas. Sorry, I just, they, I don't see the difference very much. I think they like one is longer neck. I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, however... That alpaca turned out quite yellow, which was not really what I was going for. I wanted it to be almost white. So as I tried to figure out if I liked that, if I wanted to do something different, I decided to take the E33 marker. I colored in all the snouts and all the hooves and his little boots there. So again, it's saving me a lot of time to not have to like keep switching between markers. I used E29 for all the teeny tiny noses 
and I use the 53 for that like eye patch area and the ears. So again, just can take that one marker, uncap it, and go across a couple of the alpacas at one time and really make this much quicker. I also decided to do the inside of the ears in the E50 eventually. I don't know if I show that on camera, but um, when I was looking at pictures of alpacas, they don't have pink ears, even though it's like kind of the go-to ear color. I did find that the snout was a little bit lighter than I wanted, so I'm just covering it again with the same E33. What's nice about Copics is if you layer them, they get darker. And so then I was experimenting. How do I want these alpacas to look? And eventually, instead of just leaving them solid white, which I had considered briefly, I decided to just try the E50 marker in the swirling motion. So not covering with a base layer, just swirling the 50 all over the, the alpacas. And ultimately, that is what I liked best. It created that almost white alpaca look, but added a touch of color to it, a touch of texture, and it's so fast to do. I mean, obviously this video is sped up a little bit, but I think it's only like two times, maybe three times. Anyway, much quicker. And so I could see making a ton of Christmas cards with these alpacas. I mean, I'm still doing fall, but um, just as a thought, because they're still over in the cat scrapping his shop. And it's a, obviously you can see it's a good set for two seasons. So anyway... I'm ready to move on to assembling the cards. I did cut these out with my scan and cut, but you could, there's coordinating dies that you can also pick up in the shop. And there is a coupon code in the video description for the Cat Scrappiness shop. I am on the design team, but I was not asked to make this video. It's not part of being on the design team. I just wanted to play with these things from the shop. So just a little disclaimer there, but I can still share my coupon code for being a design team member. So benefits for you. Anyway, I'm ready to fit the leaves in. So they're going to be basically like little puzzle pieces, but I want them to be held in without having to fuss with a bunch of glue. So I took pieces of scotch tape and I taped it so the sticky side was sort of popping through the hole. And that way when I place the leaf down, it sticks to the scotch tape. I hope that makes sense. And this means that, I mean, so the other option which you could do is put the background sheet on your card base and then put some like liquid glue or something behind the leaf. However, it has that small delicate stem. And this way I am able to fit it in and then turn it over and I can run the adhesive across the leaf at the bottom and it will hold the stem in easier with less fussing. So that was ultimately my plan. In terms of the sentiments, I took some of the scraps of the lawn fawn papers and I cut this banner die also from the Cat Scrappiness Fall Essentials, Crafters Essentials Fall die set. It's all from the same set. And I stamped the warm hugs from the Sunny Studios Alpaca Holiday stamp set. I thought that was like the best fall sentiment there's a lot of good winter sentiments and there's some christmas things etc but i of course want to keep it fall so you could have done warm wishes or warm hugs i thought the hugs worked out nicely plus it always makes me think of olaf which is funny so um anyway now i'm ready to add on the alpacas and my plan was always to put them next to the leaf to kind of make them interacting with the leaf. Now, obviously the scale is super weird because the alpacas are the same size as a leaf, but I'm not going for a scene. I'm just going for like using all the cute products that I just bought. Because honestly, that's what I do sometimes. I'm just like, these are all the things that I am excited about that I bought recently or that I somehow acquired recently. And I'm just gonna put them all together and see how it goes. The leaf panel thing, is a little bit narrower than an A2 size card. Like to create a even border on the side, you have to trim an A2 size card just a tiny bit. Not a big deal. I still use those like standard card bases. I just glued it down and then chopped that tiny bit off. But you could also just leave it depending on what uh, look you like. I am putting all the alpacas on with some foam tape and I am putting them all near the leaf but I don't want it to cover up the leaf too much because then 
it might just look like like what they're what is he doing there why is this a fall card because the leaf is kind of like the really really fall thing about all of these so that's just something that I was considering as I went through I also thought about the colors and what looked good like that llama that I colored almost yellowy because I you know the first llama that I colored he looked best on the blue paper because it was a cool color to balance out all the warmness in the llama. But I'm really happy I didn't do all the llamas yellow because I don't think it would look good on this yellow background. Ready to finish off the card. I decided to go with some sequins from Cat Scrappiness because they're super fun and it would just make the card feel like sparkly and special. So I'm choosing some big brown sequins from the truffle mix and some tiny gold glitter sequins from the Manhattan mix. Now, the Manhattan mix has large brown sequins in it, but they're a little bit bigger and they're super shiny, so I went with different ones, but you could use all from the same pack to make life a bit easier, or if you only have one pack, it's just that, you know, I went through all my sequins and just picked my favorite ones. And I put it in a like visual triangle around the llama to kind of emphasize it and around the leaf so that they would really draw your eye. And that's it for my cards today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Remember, this is for the Cat Scrappiness October Fall Challenge where you can win a $25 gift certificate. So if you're making fall cards anyway, get over there and enter. And of course, coupon code and links in the video description so that you can get some fun stuff and some savings. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye.